This video is a very quick summary of respiration geared towards the Irish Leaving Cert. So respiration is the enzyme controlled release of energy from food and it can either be a one stage or a two stage process. And this all depends on whether or not there is oxygen available in the cell. If there is oxygen, well then it is a two stage process known as aerobic respiration. And the two stages in aerobic respiration are glycolysis followed by Krebs cycle. But before you can discuss anything to do with aerobic respiration or respiration at all, you need to know about NAD. It's this molecule that's known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And yes, you do have to know its full name. It's a carrier molecule and it's usually found as NAD+. And the role of this molecule is to trap and transfer electrons from glucose and from other molecules and to transfer them to where they're needed, in this case, electron transport chains. So NAD plus will trap two electrons and one proton to form NADH. The electrons are trapped by removing pairs of hydrogen atoms, so pulling pairs of hydrogen atoms off glucose or off other substrate molecules. And it's the electrons in those hydrogen atoms that we're interested in. They're bringing the electrons from the glucose or from the substrate molecule and trapping them in this molecule NADH. So two atoms, two hydrogen atoms, consist of two electrons and two protons one of the protons will go into solution because remember NAD plus traps two electrons and one proton so the other one goes off into solution. At the end of it you have NADH which is a high energy molecule and its role is to transfer those electrons to an electron transport chain and in the process at the end of this it drops off those electrons and it reverts back to being NAD plus so NAD plus is regenerated at the end of the process. So let's go on to glycolysis. It takes place in the cytosol, which is the liquid part of the cytoplasm. So in glycolysis, we start off with glucose, which is made up of these six carbons, and its formula is C6H12O6. At the end of glycolysis, really all that happens is that glucose has been split into two new three carbon molecules called pyruvic acid or pyruvate. And this splitting has resulted in the formation of two ATP molecules, well a net gain of two ATP molecules because two have been used up in getting the reaction going and also hydrogen atoms have been removed and remember the hydrogen atoms being removed from glucose are very important because they're taking electrons off glucose and those electrons get picked up by NAD plus to form NADH and that other proton goes off into solution and we have two of these NADH molecules formed at the end of glycolysis. So let's review glycolysis. It takes place or can take place in the presence or absence of oxygen. So oxygen does not play a role. In this reaction, glucose is split and glucose is a six carbon molecule. And when it's split, two molecules of pyruvic acid or pyruvate are formed and each one of these has three carbons. There is a net gain of only two ATP and two NADH molecules were formed carrying electrons. So electrons were trapped by NAD plus to form NADH. And now this all takes place in the cytosol of the cell. The next stage after glycolysis will only take place if there is oxygen present in the cell. So if there is, each of the pyruvic acid molecules or the pyruvate molecules get actively transported into the mitochondria of the cells. So we're talking about pyruvic acid now and pyruvic acid, there are two of them, but we just discussed one and they have been actively transported into the mitochondria of the cells. So let's discuss what happens to one of the pyruvic acid molecules. The first thing is that it loses a carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. The second thing is that it will lose electrons and those electrons are removed, remember, by removing pairs of hydrogen atoms and these get trapped, these electrons get trapped by NAD plus to form NADH and in this reaction we form 1 NADH and at the end we have formed acetyl-CoA, this two carbon molecule and remember there are two of them but we've just discussed one. So just to review what happened in this link reaction, so we're talking about pyruvic acid or pyruvate and we're talking about one but the same thing happens to the other. Remember pyruvic acid or pyruvate is a three carbon molecule and it got converted to a two carbon molecule called acetyl-CoA. This was achieved by removing one carbon and this was excreted as carbon dioxide and also one NADH was formed but the same thing will have happened to the other pyruvic acid or pyruvate. 
So acetyl coenzyme A, this two carbon molecule, was made in the previous reaction. We have two of them, but we're just going to discuss what happens with one. We're still in the mitochondria, and acetyl CoA now enters into Krebs cycle, or the citric acid cycle. Here it combines with a four carbon molecule, and this makes a six carbon molecule. And this six carbon molecule will get broken down firstly to a five carbon molecule by releasing a carbon dioxide, and then to a four carbon molecule by again releasing releasing a carbon dioxide and in the process we make NADH which is what the whole purpose of Krebs cycle is to make lots of NADH or as much as possible. So acetyl-CoA combined with a four carbon molecule to form a six carbon molecule and the first thing that happens is that a carbon is removed and this is excreted as carbon dioxide. As well as this, we remove pairs of hydrogens and those pairs of hydrogens contain those important electrons and those electrons, two of them and one proton, will combine with NAD plus to form NADH and the other proton goes off into solution. So we now have a five carbon molecule and again a carbon is removed and is excreted as carbon dioxide. And once again, pairs of hydrogen atoms are removed and those hydrogen atoms are a way of removing electrons from these molecules. So the electrons then get trapped or by NAD plus to form NADH. And remember, there's one proton trapped as well. This in Krebs cycle, we only make a little bit of ATP. So we make one molecule of ATP. And remember, there's a water molecule associated with that. And so we are back down to being a four carbon molecule. And just in this part of the reaction as well, another pair of hydrogen atoms are removed, removing electrons. And those electrons are trapped by NAD plus and one proton to form NADH. So that's the end of Krebs cycle. So at the end of Krebs cycle, so we're discussing what's happened when one acetyl-CoA molecule entered Krebs cycle. Two carbon dioxides were released, three NADH molecules were made and one ATP. And don't forget the water that's associated with that. So the last part of Krebs cycle is where we get to make all of that ATP, the whole purpose of aerobic respiration, because very little has been made so far. So the main thing that happens is that NADH, that molecule that trapped those electrons and that one proton, is going to transfer all of those electrons to an electron transport chain. An electron transport chain is just a series of electron acceptor molecules, mostly proteins, and the electrons pass over these molecules and as they do, they release that energy and the energy that they release is used to add a phosphate onto ADP to form ATP. The protons, they go off into solution, but they're going to combine with those electrons and with oxygen at the end of that electron transport chain to form water. And it's important to note that NAD plus was regenerated in this process. So that's very important to state in your answer. So that's aerobic respiration, the complete breakdown of glucose in the presence of oxygen. It yields many ATP molecules and so is a very efficient means of producing energy for all our metabolic reactions. It's really important that you can write a balanced equation for the process like this one up here. And it's important that you can give an account of what happens at each stage and particularly how NAD plus traps and transfers those electrons and that one proton each time. So make sure you use your textbook when you're studying and you're doing past papers and checking the answers with the official marking scheme. Good luck.